So excuse me. All right, go ahead. That's good. Now go ahead and stop him. So inside, outside, good. Let me stop. Okay. Very good. Now from there, what I want you to do is back him up. Okay. So okay. I'm start with my outside rein. Correct. Okay. Because that leg is is forward uh, more than the inside leg was. All right. All right. So inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Now stop there. All right. Always stop with the with that leg you want to start on. Okay. Okay. Right. So if you want this leg to be in that backwards position so you don't have to always say hey I'm gonna take another step back one more time okay. all right okay so go ahead and take another step back and your timing's very very good all right Oops. one more step <laughs> right there well oh. all right that's fine there that's fine he'll take a step off like he should nope hollywood all right let's just talk about that real quickly pawing you know pawing is one of those behaviors that you don't want to see in your horse right all right and laura you did exactly what you should and then just delete the behavior as it's being expressed Okay, so you immediately start backing them up, say that's wrong, but you also have to take them back forward. Forward right away. Right where it okay. was again. All right, so take them off from right there. Okay, that's going to stop. Okay, that time you had a little inside pressure when his left inside, or excuse me, outside pressure when his inside leg was on the uh, forward position. Okay. Okay, so make sure that you're doing it correctly with the timing of the horse. So I know you're anticipating that leg to come back forward again. Right. Right. But just say, all right, we hasn't moved yet. So I can't ask that horse to, to do something that he can't do already. Okay. So all I right? have to listen to the horse and not be thinking one step ahead. I have exactly. to stay with the horse. Okay. Exactly. Ride the horse you're on. Gotcha. All right. So take another step back and we're going to do a circle to the inside this time. Okay. All right. All right. So go forward. Now circle around to the inside. Okay. One more time around. Okay. Which reins are you picking up? The inside rein with the inside foot. Correct. All right. And you were correct in your timing there too. So go ahead and stop them. All right. Now guys, some of this, this is very important for all of you to do at home. Okay. It's so very important just to be able to use the reins correctly, have the correct timing with your horse. Make sure that every single time that that foot comes starting to come forward, you either ask them to slow down or turn, or you're just not touching the reins at all. You know, there's there's a time when we're in neutral, right? When you're driving your car and you want to go straight, you don't turn the wheel back and forth a thousand different times, do you? You just hold it steady, and that's where you want it to keep going straight down the road. And the same thing with the horses, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do when we come back from break is get Laura on the horse so I can look at her timing under saddle, and we'll do that next. So you guys stick around. <music> Hi, I'm Ryan Gingrich, The Behaviorist. I'm here today with Wayne Blevins, founder of E3 Life for Horses. You know, Wayne, I've used your product and wholeheartedly believe in it. Can you tell us more about your product? Well, it's blue-green algae, and we've documented what it can do for shelly feet, abscesses, white lime, laminitis, but it's really for the whole health of the horse. Yeah, I truly believe that myself. And we've had great success with it here at the National Equine Behavior Center, and so will you. your horse giving you the hook or are you just missing that connected relationship? Send your horse to the National Equine Behavior Center for some expert training by me and my staff. Each month I take a select group of horses into my training program where they get the personal attention they need. Whether you're looking to hit the trail, excel in the show ring, or just have a safe horse to enjoy with the family, find that connected relationship through my proven training methods. Space is limited and results are guaranteed. So call now to reserve your spot or for more information go to my website ryangingrich.com. Welcome back. I'm back here again with Laura Ripley in Hollywood. So Laura, what we're going to do real quickly is talk about uh, timing under saddle. Okay. And also one of the really kind of key things to riding a horse is mm -hmm. proper body position, right? So we're going to talk about that just a little bit. Okay. All right. So what I want you to basically do is just ride a big circle around me and I'm just going to kind of critique a little bit of what you're doing and, okay. and how you're holding the reins and, and how you're sitting and all that kind of good stuff. All right. So 
the very, 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 very first thing before I teach you anything, and, and normally I have to yell at everybody about this, because it's one of those things that, that I learned that uh, really helped uh, get more lightness out of my horses, more responsiveness out of my horses. Mm -hmm. All right, you all have been taught to ride with your pinkies underneath the reins, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that is, and and honestly, I get more responsiveness out of my horses by having my pinkies on top of the reins. All right. All right? Because that one little bit of just that little bit of squeeze that I can give from my pinkies, all right, gives that extra little bit of lightness to that horse, extra little bit of pre cue to that horse. And make harder. sure that. What's that? It's harder for us as riders to put a lot of pressure with the pinky finger. Exactly. I mean, exactly. So keep riding the circle. All right. And you're going to be wanting to pick that rein up every single time. All right. Really pick that rein up a little bit every single time he takes a step forward. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing I want you to do too, the release of pressure is his paycheck. Okay. All right. That's what tells him he did what he did correctly, all right? The behavior that he showed you was what you wanted to see out of him, all right? So that release of pressure is so very important. So each time, come back over here. So each time he takes that step forward and he slows down that inside leg, all right? Where you're holding it, constantly holding that pressure, all right? Release that pressure back down. Take that left hand and drop it back down to his shoulder a bit, okay? All right. Now, if he's walking a little fast for you right now, right? Okay. So what you're going to want to do is pick up that outside rein a little bit and add just a little outside pressure to it, and say take a little slower, little slower steps. All right. Okay. Now the other thing I want to teach you is that head down cue. All right. Okay. Which is important for all horses, no matter what type of horse it is. And okay, and that that head down cue is going to be over to the center line of the horse's body, and back with your other hand, your outside hand, towards the towards your hip. Okay, there you go. As soon as he drops his nose down, they're right just like that. All right. Now, one other thing that you're doing, it's it's not very, it's very subtle. All right, okay. it's not going to be really important, um, especially for the horses we ride around here. All right. Okay, we're not doing a lot of finish work and all that kind of stuff, but we are doing a lot of behavioral type work. So how you sit in the saddle is very important. Okay. So there's some times where you kind of tip forward just a little bit. Really? Okay. All right. So try to sit, you know, more center in that saddle. All right. Bring your bring your legs back just a, just a hair. I know that saddle is kind of a little hard to do that with. Right. All right. And right there, that was that was perfect. Now I would also probably I would have stopped him as he started screaming. Okay. Okay. Because if the scream is is a it's a it's a yellow zone activity. Okay. All right. It's a it's a way for him to communicate to his, all his other buddies around here that I'm still here. I know you're getting fed. fed. I'm not. Okay. I'm upset about so that. It's, a, it's a protest more or less. Okay. Okay. So by by stopping that behavior as it's being expressed, that's the most important thing for you, especially, to be able to do. Okay. All right. And at home, for you guys that that are or have horses that are screaming like this or they're showing bad behaviors, you know, over and over again. Um, it is, it is uh, uh, very, very, very important that you stop that behavior as it's being expressed, okay? And you're gonna stop it, delete it, back him, back the horse away, say go back forward to what you're doing again. Okay. All right? Now if he's escaping by going sideways. All right, so we're gonna talk about cue spots right now. Perfect okay. timing. <laughs> okay. All right? <laughs> 